Hello and welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are going to solve the problem Paint House 3. In this problem we are given M houses in a small city. Each house must be painted with one of the N colors given from 1 to N. Some houses that has been painted the last summer should not be painted again. A neighborhood is a maximum group of continuous houses that are painted with the same color. For example, if you have the houses 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2 and 1, 1. In this case there are 5 neighborhoods. So 1, then 2, 2 is a neighborhood, 3, 3 is a neighborhood, then again 2 is a single house, then 1, 1 is a neighborhood. So basically we, the collection of the continuous houses that are painted with the same color, they, uh, they are considered to be as one neighborhood. Now we are given an array houses and an M cross and matrix cost and an integer target. Written the minimum cost of painting all the remaining houses in such a way that there are exactly target neighborhoods. If not possible, then it will be written minus one in those cases. In the first example, there are given five houses and none of these houses is painted, so we have to paint all of them. And the target is three, so we have to construct three neighborhoods. As we see in the explanation that we constructed three neighborhoods. The first one uh, consists of only one house, the second one consists of two houses. 2 and 2 and the third one also consists of two houses 1 and 1 so the total cost of painting in such a configuration would result in the total cost of 9 this is the minimum possible cost that uh, with which we can paint all these houses that finally will have three neighborhoods now we are going to look at the second example and we will see how we can solve this problem so this is the given example in this case, we have to construct total three targets. There are M houses given, M is five. The colors are given to be one and two. So basically there are two colors and this is the matrix, the cost matrix that is given to us. Initially, we are at the first house. Initially, we are at the first house and we see that the first house is not painted. It is given to be zero. So we have to paint it either with the color one or with the color two. So we have two options here, going with the color one and going with the color two. So we are going to go with both of the colors. When we go with the color one, the cost will be one. So the cost, okay. I'm denoting the total cost by TOT, okay. TOT is a total cost. The total cost is one plus something that we are going to calculate in the further steps. The color of the house will now be equal to 1 and in this case the cost will be 10 plus something and the color will be 2 and in this case the total number of neighbors the neighbor will increase by total number of neighbors will increase by one so initially it was zero now it is one in this case also the neighbor will be one so we are only considering up to this part so we are we are not looking at uh, the houses which are beyond this that we will look in the further steps but we are considering that we have only one house and we are going to color it either with the color one or with the color two next we move on to the index one in this case we find that the house is already colored so if we are going with this branch then we see that the color of the previous house was one so it is different from the current house in this case we have to increase okay so in this case we have only one option to go with this is the only option and in this option the total cost will remain same that is tot will remain one plus something that we are going to calculate in the further steps the color of the house will now be 2 and uh, t was the neighbors now the neighbor will increase because the last house was colored with the, the color 1 and this house is colored with the color 2 so we are going to increase the neighbors this will be 2 now and if we go with branch this branch then uh, we find that the house is already colored so we cannot do much here and we find that the color is same so t is going to remain same color of the house is going to remain same and the total is also going to remain the same okay this question mark is the cost we are going to calculate in the further steps 
now let us move on to the index 2 now in this case the house of the color is 1 if we are going with this branch we again find that the cost will not increase that is with 1 plus something and the color will now change again it will be 1 and T will obviously increase because the color is different from the previous house now in this case in this case the color is different from the previous house that is why T will increase T will now be 2 and the color will change that is 1 and the total total will not increase we are because we are not going to paint this house so it will remain 10 plus a question mark now okay let me see the next color is 2 and then the house is already painted that is why when we go to the further steps the total will not increase it will remain 1 plus something and the cost the color the color will be what's the color I forgot it is 2 the color will change in this case the neighbor exceeds the given limit the given limit the target was uh, uh, four uh, I guess the target was three and we are exceeding that limit so we are not going to go into further branching and if we go with this branch if we are going with this branch then the total will remain the same the color is two and the previous color was one so the color is changing and T is increasing finally we are going to the last house and the last house is not colored so we have two options either to color it with one or to color it with two so we see that when we are going to color it with one then we are going to increase the total number of neighbors the total number of neighbors will be 4 and uh, the limit is given to be 3 so we are not going with this step we will be going with the color 2 and when we go with the color 2 uh, we know that the total will be 10 plus the color that we need to paint this house is 1 so it will be 1 that color will be 2 and the total number of neighbors will remain 3 because the previous color was also 2 so this is the total cost this is the total cost and this is the path that we followed so the answer in this case is 11 I hope so yeah so the answer is 11 now we are going to see that how we should code this problem again it is a dynamic programming problem and we are going to use top-down DP here let me make a helper function in this helper function okay so what were the attributes that we were changing so we had a total this denoted the cost then we had the color of the previous house we were carrying the color of the previous house then we had the total number of neighbors and obviously we are going to iterate through all these houses so these are going to be the dimensions of my dynamic programming so I I will iterate through all over the houses then we have the color of the last house then we have the total number of neighbors till now so this is T then we are going to copy the same parameters over here in case the total number of neighbors till now that exceeds the limit that is the target in this case we are going to return infinity and in order to prevent any overflows I'm going to return in max by 2 if we reach the last house if i is equals to m in this case if t equals to target then we have to return we have to return 0 else we have to return this because uh, we know that there's no answer for this 
particular configuration then okay now if the house is painted or not if the house is uh, if the current house the ith house is uh, not painted then we have to paint it we have so many options we have n options here so j is equals to 0 to j j is more than n j plus plus these are the n colors this will be my answer initially I will keep the answer as infinity int max by 2 here answer is equals to minimum of answer comma I'm going to paint this house with the color J so the cost of I comma J plus I'm going to call I plus one and the color of this house is now J plus one is the color and we have to see whether we are going to increase the total neighbors or not for that we have to look at the previous house the color of the previous house that is given in L so if L is equals to J plus one that is the color of the current house if you're painting the current house with the same color as that of the previous house in this case we are keeping T same else we are passing T plus one okay and all the parameters are as it is houses then cost and M comma N comma target so okay in case the given house is already colored so answer is equals to minimum of answer comma help of we are not going to add any cost here because this is already colored but for sure we will go to the next house and the color of this house will be houses of i and if the color of this house is same as the last house then in this case the neighbors will remain t else total number of neighbors will increase rest of the parameters are same and finally we will return our answer from here one more thing we can do here we can simply have a return statement and if t equals to target return zero else return int max by two i'm just trying to optimize the beauty of the code here testing this initially we are the zeroth house then we have the house of the previous color we are starting from the first house so and the colors are starting from 1 to n so i'm keeping zero as the color of the previous house when we are at the zeroth house then we have t the total number of neighbors initially zero houses cost m n and target let us see for any compilation errors line number 17 22 and line number 3 help okay line number 22 house this is the cost I didn't pass the cost here The answer for the first test case is 9. It is correct. Let us test for all the given cases. Nine, eleven, five, and int max by 2. So here 
I'm going to store my answer when we are getting into max by 2 in those cases the answer is not possible so we have to return minus 1 we are returning if answer is equals to int max by 2 then minus 1 else answer now what we have to do is we are going to apply dynamic programming here simply we are creating a dp array so we are just going to create a dp array the size will be 100 for m then for target it is the last color it is uh, 21 there are only 20 colors then we have 101 again for 101 again for total number of neighbors till now now we are going to mem set this dp mem set dp with minus 1 the size of dp and dp is initialized with minus 1 and here we are going to check if the value in the dp for the current configuration that is i comma l comma t if it is, uh, it is minus 1 then we are going to return if it is not minus 1 then we are going to return the value inside the dp we already computed this particular configuration in all the other cases we are going to return our answer and store it in the dp i hope it works What is the problem here? The time limit is exceeding for a very small configuration. It should obviously pass the constraints. What wrong am I doing? If t is greater than the target, then we are returning into max by 2. If it is n, then we are returning this. If it is not equals to minus 1, So what we are doing is a big blunder here. This is not equals to minus one. I hope it works now. Yeah, so it's getting accepted because we are working within the constraints. The constraints are 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 20, which is approximately 10 to the power 6, and it is going to pass in one second. This is the space complexity. This is the space complexity that we are uh, using in this, and this is also the time complexity. So, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will keep uploading problems related to programming interviews in near future as well. Thank you.